While in Ghana, Aigeman frets at the flush of wind. He rarely wears light clothes. His dad usually teases him each time he shivers due to the cold, saying he won't survive it abroad. A few months later, Aigeman got admission into the school in Canada. Though it was difficult in the, in the first two years of his stay there, since then till now, his sixth year in Canada, he had never had issues with the cold. He had gotten used to his new environment. In this lesson, we will be looking at the meaning and forms of adaptation. Aigeman's ability to withstand cold in his new environment simply explains the term adaptation. In simple terms, adaptation is the act or process of changing to better suit a situation. Humans, animals, and plants adapt to their environment and other stressors. Now, let's talk about the different forms of adaptation. Chameleons camouflage or change their color to hide away from either prey or predators. Lizards also use burrows or underground holes as means of adapting to the desert heat. This form of adaptation is known as behavioral adaptation. You must have observed the possession of wings in birds for flight, and maybe you are also aware that fishes respire through their gills. These change in body structure by an organism, which makes it easy for them to survive is termed structural adaptation. The third form of adaptation has to do with internal and cellular features. These features are not seen because they are within the organism. However, they manifest upon an incident. For example, snake possess venom to ward off a predator. Another example is similar to the first, is scorpion sting. We have learned that adaptation is the ability of organisms to live successfully in a particular habitat as a result of its structure, appearance, and behavior. We also learned about the three forms of adaptation, which are behavioral, structural, and physiological adaptation. See you in the next class. Thank <laughs> you.